Taxi! What's up, Virgo? This is uh, So, of course. You know who I am, right? So this is going to be your... Uh, actually, this is going to be your June and July's uh, love messages, okay? What I did was I set the intentions um, before I started reading uh, for all the signs for the energies to be for, of course, June and then to stretch out to um, July as well. Since I'm only doing these random... Uh, monthly videos uh, from now on and and I chose June July because you know my birthday's upcoming July 10th and I wanted to pay homage to my fellow crabs as simple as that okay Virgo I hope all is well I hope you guys are staying safe so we want to look at some energy for you uh, for the next two months and uh, of course, I'm using my favorite uh, tarot deck, the Victorian Romantic Tarot deck, and I'll be drawing three cards from Sandra Brown's Love Oracle deck, like before. Okay, so it might be a little lengthy, and I don't care because, you know, I'm just uh, taking my time with the energies, not like I haven't, haven't taken my time before, but because of... It just being random now, and I'm only doing uh, six signs today, and you're the fourth one that I've done so far. So uh, I'll do the other six to tomorrow. God forbid anything um, prevents me from getting them out there. Okay, so and I am putting them up, you know, rather early. So anyway, happy birthday to all the Virgos for those who are going to be celebrating their birthdays um, in the month of August. Yes, happy birthday to you. All right, so here we go. We want to start off with that shadow energy for you, Virgo. And your shadow is about the Page of Pentacles. So keep in mind, though, even though it's the Page of Pentacles, it represents something new, okay? It's a court card. So for some of you, and it's on, you know, it's a part of your energy. So the page here is a part of your energies along with Taurus and Capricorn. So I feel that there could be for those... Um, Virgos, and this, by the way, is for Virgos who are single and Virgos who are uh, in, you know, established relationships already. So this could indicate somebody new, somebody younger, somebody who is good with working with money, somebody who works in the business uh, industry. Um, but they're doing very well for themselves, but also, too, because they are youthful, they are mature, very mature for their age. So some of you may be dealing with that type of energy right now, but this is just a shadow and it may be that there is somebody new to meet that is coming through and it represents all those things that I just mentioned. Okay, so Page of Pentacles is your shadow. We're going to start. Oh, you know what? We're going to start off with um, this card here, <laughs> this card here. Uh, and this will be the theme or the energy for you for the next two months regarding love and relationships. And, you know, maybe some things that... Um, you know, you know, maybe important for you, maybe something that you need to work on when it comes to your relationships, or maybe nothing at all. But let's just see. And we're going to start off with that uh, Ace of Pentacles. So here, I love when the elements show up for the sign that I'm reading for, of course. Just like that Page of Pentacles, something new coming in. This is an offer. Now, for some of you, this would be an offer of love. Now, I'm not incorporating any other uh, areas or aspects of your life so we're not talking about a new job or a new investment or anything like that related to business no this is someone who could come in and offer some sort of new love to you or this could actually represent you and you're offering that new love uh, to someone else if you are single okay so we're going to start off uh, with that and that ace of pentacles also virgo represents the whole uh, energies of stability and you know long term now think of long-term investments so your relationships would be your investment so this is long term and also too is security so either you know you enter into a relationship and this is what you're looking uh, for um some of you may have been in those relationships that didn't you know foster that type of energy now you um 
or you know wanting to move into that type of energy and this is what's showing up here ace of pentacles so that's a good card to start off with so the focus for you is about offerings love security uh stability and uh, investments okay investing in your relationships next up is the uh, seven of Swords. Okay, so the Seven of Swords is here, and the Seven of Swords represents, usually in the love reading when I do it, someone from your past trying to creep back in. And I hope you guys can see this. Um, I might have to touch that light up a little bit. I got a little ambience going on here. But anyway, Seven of Swords, I'm calling the cards out so that you, if you can't see them, I'm identifying. Seven of Swords is always a return of someone from your past. And notice this character is looking backwards so yes this is somebody from your past who still you know uh has issues has not resolved any issues um that may have led to you know a parting of the ways or a split for some of you and just to let you know that that energy will be ongoing that they haven't since they haven't resolved any of their issues they have nothing new to bring to the table so you may um choose to entertain it or you may not choose to entertain it uh, most people don't entertain um you know energies from their past now i know a lot of people say well they're no longer together but they remain friends well i just feel that this is just me it's kind of hard for males and females to be um to remain friends after a romantic relationship because there's always that physical bond that is uh, existing between you so um but you know people are a lot stronger than i'm projecting here anyway seven of swords represents um gemini uh yeah gemini libra and aquarius okay so just be careful here about someone trying to um you know creep back into your life uh, who has not yet resolved their issues or have at least started to work on those issues. Anyway, Page of Swords, so new conversations, just like the Page of Pentacles in Your Shadows. So this is new conversations. This is new people um, talking heart-to-heart, uh, -heart, having those heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your significant other if you're already paired. Or it could be, you know, those heart-to-heart uh, -heart for those potentials that may be coming up okay but this is always representative of conversations actually new conversations taking place so it could be new conversations taking place with those singles and then uh new conversations are being brought up and talked about with those existing virgos that are in relationships seven is, uh, i'm sorry page of swords represents gemini libra and aquarius up next is the judgment card major arcana is showing up this card is uh always when it comes to you know relationships what's hidden in the dark comes to the light so this could be this is my self-awareness card so it may be some things that you discover about yourself but connect that to your relationships you know maybe uh i'm just going to give you a for instance or you know some sort of synopsis here or you know maybe in the past um you didn't find yourself to be outgoing when it comes to these relationships and maybe there's a, some sort of change and that become, you become aware of that okay something that may have always been in you but it was you know either pushed back or hidden now it comes to the surface what is hidden comes to the surface or comes to the light um and then also to the judgment in itself is to make sure that going through these next two months virgo that you're not placing too too much of a you know critical or harsh judgment towards yourself when it comes to these relationships and then you're not passing that judgment on to other people as well okay so that's judgment card major arcana up next after that judgment card is the three of pentacles so again more of your energies is showing up and the uh, love relationship this could mean uh multiple things it could be now i don't know you know a lot of people are returning back to work after this pandemic uh let me turn this phone uh, so it could be that there's a new person or there's some sort of office or business affair going on uh, involving a, Vir a Virgo. Um, but because there's three people here, that per person may be attached or Virgo may be attached. So it might be just a mere attraction to this person or the person is attracted to you and you're coupled. Uh, but this is collaboration as well, okay? Getting along well with other people, and that includes uh, romantic relationships as well. Now, because there is three people here, this could be, this could be outside of the workplace environment where 
um, a couple introduces you um, to someone new, okay? That's how I'm seeing it there. So it could go that way as well. Three of Pentacles is your energy, Virgo. Taurus and Capricorn. Up next is the um, Justice card. So this is, again, this is a good card because justice will be served. Justice in terms of... Uh, you know your relationships and how you relate to others the doves at the base of her feet is always a peace offering uh, the scales always represent a balance so you can find yourself being balanced throughout the next two months when it comes to these relationships you know the fiery red uh, cape the fire itself the red hair that she has always reminds me of there could be some Virgos dealing with fire signs Aries Leo and Sagittarius or there could be uh, those energies uh, you get to meet in the next two months when it comes to relationships, okay? But there's a balance. Justice card could also represent somebody still getting married. Even though the Knight of Pentacles is my marriage card in this particular deck, someone can still be going to get married in front of the Justice of the Peace. But things are balanced out, okay? Whatever it is regarding your relationships, and I like that. Major Arcana, the Justice card. Up next, after the Justice card, Virgo, we have the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is showing up, and this is smooth sailing after having to have dealt with some sort of critical uh, situations. Notice it's under the Seven of Swords, somebody from your past. This would be a move away from that energy towards something better, okay? This is also traveling, so it could be that some Virgos who are already attached are traveling, and, you know, it's romantically linked. It could be that there's single Virgos who are visiting others who are, you know, and it's, you know, I'm sorry, could be visiting others and it's also romantically linked, okay? Or someone coming to visit you. But this is a good card. Um, ending, you know, some sort of uh, turmoil, getting away from some sort of turmoil. And now you're moving and clearer, calmer passages. Okay. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius represents that Six of Swords. Up next here, we have the Four of Cups. Cups represents love and emotions, and this is outgoing energy, partying. Uh, this would be you, the center of attention. So it might be that, you know, you're out, uh, whether you're single or if you're in a relationship, you're out enjoying each other's company, and then the people are like-minded just like you, just having a good time. Then if you are single and you're out, it could be a small gathering. You know, a lot of these restrictions are being lifted. So people are, you know, in summertime where I am or leading into summer and uh, people are wanting to get out. They're just dying to get out, even if it's just on a, um, you know, minimal, minimal level of gathering of people and whatnot they just people just need that contact with other people okay or at least to be around other people so you could be invited to a party invited to go out with fr uh, some friends and then during those invitations or outings then there might be someone within that you know that crowd or whatever that is attracted to you or you become attracted to them and then maybe something can uh jump start from that okay so this is a very good card four of cups um love romance partying uh, and just having a good time up next after the four of cups that represents cancer scorpio and pisces we have the major arcana the fool so the fool always represents new beginnings okay taking those risks, taking those chances. So some of you could be finding yourself in the next two months having to, you know, step out of your boundaries, take those chances, take those risks, because there's something out there waiting for you. And then if it's people or relationships, there are people here in the background. So that's who you could possibly, um, you know, run into or you happen to uh, meet. And the fool is the start of new things and new beginnings, and that could be the start of a new relationship romantically. So, the fool is always welcomed here. All right, up next after the major arcana, the fool, and your last card for the draw is the king of cups, a court card, father of love. Okay, nurturing, caring, supportive, um, definitely romantic. So again, you could be meeting someone older, and you could be meeting someone younger. We have the Page of Swords here, we have the um, Page of Pentacles, and now we have the Father here, the King of Cups. So you can meet um, those entities, or those energies, I should say, not entities. Well, they could be entities. 
Um, celebrating, being love, loving, uh, mutual love and respect for one another. And this could go out for those uh, Virgos who are already in uh, relationships, just enjoying uh, and mirrors the Four of Cups, just being out and enjoying each other's company and so forth. And, uh, you know, there's mutual love and respect for one another. So that's a great card to end your reading. And I always like to see some cups show up, although it's not necessary to indicate whether or not if there's something, you know, more serious that could take place. Uh, and that King of Cups represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay. Three cards from uh, Sandra Brown's Love Oracle uh, deck. And you can use these messages however you want, Virgo. Okay. First message is travel. See? Your love life requires some sort of travel. Well, this would connect with the Six of Swords. So there could be some sort of romantic stuff going on for... Um, it could be single or, you know, couples and traveling is involved, okay? That getaway weekend or that, um, that island where somebody is or somebody that you can meet. And it turns out to be a romantic thing. But traveling is definitely indicated for some Virgos here. So you may find yourself quite, if you're single... And if you're not single, if you're in a relationship, you still would have that luck and that love on your side and having a great time. Okay, so this gossip card has been showing up for most of all of these readings here. So what's going on with these relationships? And I know that, you know, uh, you know, like I said, the, the pandemic is starting to ease up and, you know, people got a lot of free time on their hands or they didn't have a lot of free time on their hand. They was just always housed or... Um, felt like they was closed up. So a lot of conversations have taken place involving family members and friends, um, you know, getting into your uh, relationship, uh, business and whatnot. So be careful. I always say um, not to include your family members and friends into your uh, private affairs because it's, it, it never turns out to be good. Yes, it's always good to know that you have somebody that you can, uh, you know, cry on their shoulders, someone who just will listen to you and whatnot, but be very careful about taking any advice because it's usually a projection of energy of what they would do if they were in your shoes as opposed to you. And normally that's not uh, good advice to take. It always seems to come back and backfire on the individual. So be very, very careful. <laughs> Okay, um, last card here for you, Virgo, is the uh, social media, online online dating. There you go. So if this is, uh, you know, this could be for some of you. Could meet the younger, the older. Uh, you know, if you're single, uh, you know, through Instagram, through, you know, any dating sites or whatever your favorite social app is in terms of connecting and communicating with people. This card here is suggesting that, okay, that you uh, might have some luck here uh, connecting with someone through those means. All right, so Virgo, this is what I have for you for the months of June and July. I hope the energy opens up for you and bodes well. Uh, and actually looks pretty good moving forward and leading up into your birthday uh, energies. Uh, so with that being said, whatever you choose to do, have a very loving, uh, romantic and safe uh, summer, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, Virgo. Bye.